Welcome to Wellingborough Eco Group. We're a local group of uh, about 1,000 plus people on Facebook. Uh, we have various other groups, including uh, our next door groups, and we have quite a few projects. We are set up to improve uh, our borough's environment uh, by various means. Uh, we want to reduce, reuse, recycle items that otherwise would end up in landfill and to help people reduce their carbon footprints. It's the sole purpose of our group is to get as many people as we can doing as many environmentally friendly, eco-friendly activities in the town and in the wider borough as it was as possible. And to do this, we host various activities, including tomorrow morning at Glamis Hall, we have a repair cafe. Uh, we have green drinks every month at a, at a nice friendly pub. We've got swap shops, food sharers, uh, welly wombles. Yes, we are the uh, litter pickers that the uh, chap from XR was talking about earlier. And we also have a massive uh, two-hour tidy up every month on the last Saturday of the month. And this month, it is the uh, Great British Spring Clean in the town centre. What we aim to do is to grow together. So the next slide obviously refers to our community allotment. Uh, there's a couple of pictures there for you. One of uh, a few people joining in, uh, preparing our community allotment, and uh, one towards the end of the year uh, with our gazebo, fence, path, a couple of greenhouses, a couple of the sheds. The purpose of the community allotment is so that we can all uh, join in and start growing food and flowers together or for our community. And what do we do with the food? We share it with everybody. So we've got a couple of other projects, including one imaginatively titled Food Sharers. Uh, essentially, we go to supermarkets, uh, we go to other food sharers in the town, and we help them share the food between people that need it uh, to save it going into landfill. With this, we have something called a swap shop as well, uh, which is turned into a bit of a bring and buy sale. So. The aim is basically to stop things going into landfill. So uh, one man's litter, uh, one man's rubbish is another man's gold. Uh, so we'd rather charge somebody a couple of pennies or even give it to them rather than it being thrown away. So leading on from saving from landfill, I've already introduced our repair cafe. Here's some of our busy volunteers fixing things from uh, computers to uh, TVs, toasters, uh, we've even got a lady who will mend your trousers for you, which is, uh, which is good. It's completely non-commercial. Uh, we simply give you the, uh, the promise that we'll try our best to try and fix your item. Um, but say if it can be saved, our, our, our repairers will give it their best efforts. And of course, saving is what it's all about, whether it's saving water or saving energy, something that we've uh, recently taken upon ourselves is to join with the uh, Centre for Sustainable Energy uh, to produce information for local people uh, on how they can actually save energy. Now, I don't know about you, but my energy bill has just gone up by 70%. If I could save some energy, uh, that will mitigate a bit of that expense for you. So we've got a separate website for that, and we also hold workshops. Of course, what we started as a group was tidying up. So we don't call our litter picks litter picks, we call them tidy ups. We've got our monthly two hour tidy up and we also have a Tuesday tidy up every week. Um, we've also started a group called Welly Wombles where people can do it individually. Uh, we hire out uh, the litter pickers and hoops completely for free uh, and we also produce uh, let people have bags from the local council because it's easier for us to give them uh, to them than them go to the uh, industrial estate to try and get them themselves. Uh, various locations around the town, including Glamis Hall, including this lovely place, the Victoria Centre, Wellingborough Library, Hemingwell School Centre, and also from people's houses. So join in with our Welly Wombles and our, our Tidy Ups. Something that we've been doing for a few years now is green drinks. Pubs aren't necessarily everybody's uh, cup of tea. That's probably the wrong thing to say. Um, but it does give people a relaxed space to come in and just have a chat with like-minded people and we can talk about events and uh, actions that happen in the town. So every first Tuesday of the month. 
And something that we do, as well as supporting local pubs, is supporting local eco-friendly businesses and community organisations. We've developed something on our website called Welling Eco Map. You simply go to our website and then forward slash map. And there's about 30 different organisations in Wellingborough and in Northamptonshire uh, that are very eco-friendly or very community active. So do pop and have a look at that. So here's a couple of the uh, brightly coloured posters that we do. Obviously, what we want you to do is join us. Join in, get involved. Uh, the group set up to work with local councillors, businesses and community organisations, but uh, we want to work with local people and everybody uh, to get things happening and to improve the environment locally. Find out more. Find out more about our other projects, including Plant a Tree for the Jubilee in Wellingborough. Uh, at our community allotment, we've also got a tree nursery uh, where you can pop along, grab a tree completely for free. We've got over 200. So do visit wellingboroughecogroup.org.uk. Join our groups on Facebook and Nextdoor. There are quite often groups for all of the different activities we do, including the community allotment, repair car, cafe, food sharers and swap shop. And also find us on Twitter and Instagram.